eagle-eyed Aaron Imholt. Yeah, dude, I just I saw that look, man, and she's got the crazy lady look. Yeah, but you missed the um, you missed the uh, y you know, you missed uh, all the looks from a couple of other people. Let's say that, huh? Did you wear protection? Says Saint Caesar. Uh, Saint Caesar, that question is quite frankly none of your business. Thank you for asking. I'm not going to give away lured details. Doom says crazy eyes. Don't agree. I still don't agree, allegedly. I don't agree. The only way, I, and the worst part, and this is what pissed me off, the only way I can prove her innocence on that would be to show a picture. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to give, I don't want to give that information away. Um, Sam V, great question, though, St. Caesar. Bird collector, afternoon, Johnny Five. I'm sure she was very pretty. She is very pretty. Uh, why would Aaron even bring your relationship stuff of your relationship given the history of trouble stemming from discussing relationships on the toe um i had a talk with him yesterday about it and he kind of addressed it a little bit today like i kind of told him i was like dude i told you i didn't want to make a big thing of it and you made it a big segment and then and then we went into it and did what we did and then the next day i i, I wasn't on and and you and i told you not to talk about this so so i'd, I'd say we discussed it i think we're good um he didn't make it a thing today. So you can expect a kid showing up in your door in cotton in nine months. Not even remotely St. Caesar, but again, thanks. Uh, Victoria, hey, Johnny. Uh, that was rude and weird of Aaron, says Benny B. It was rude. And, um, yeah, I'm, I, I told Aaron that I was, uh, that I was annoyed with it. I get I get there in the crazy eye, too, says Atomic Ray. You, I get there in the crazy eye, too. Mr. Q, Aaron's comment on pot was stupid. Alcoholics are worse than potheads. That's because if Aaron was going to be one or the other, it's an alcoholic. He's not an alcoholic. I'm not saying that. I'm saying if Aaron was going to be one or the other, it'd be an alcoholic. Now, again, Aaron can only rate pot on fucking his, his baseline experience is like that of a first time pot user. So yeah, Aaron's takes on pot were complete bullshit, but there is something to be said for, um, misconceptions. THC causes temporary cell, um, Doom, did Aaron apologize off air for talking about your relationship more than you wanted? I mean, sort of. Like he he said he said, Oh, I'm sorry, dude, I won't do that again. So like it was an apology, but it I mean, yeah, he apologized. I guess there's no other really Yeah, he apologized. What am I saying? He apologized. <laughs> uh I don't think he felt um, that it was as big a deal as I did. That's opinions. Hype it up, Twitcher, says Mr. Q. Well, you can always join in, oh, Mr. Q. Stre stream sticker from uh, Lab Glass. They're really pushing for that sticker party or the hype train. I don't know. Mikey Two Milk saying, hey, John. Hey, Mikey, good to see you. Mikey Two Milk's in the chat. Sneed after Coke. Aaron never means any apology. I don't know about that, dude. I don't know about that. I'm not, I, you know what? I can't say whether that's true or false. That's your opinion. Maybe it's right. Maybe it's wrong. I have no idea. Whiskey Pete knows how to handle those moments. The no sell. <laughs> well, that was the thing with the first stream was, um, and this is me being a bitch and, uh, and just kind of someone who goes along because I'm part of the team. Like I told him in the text, I didn't want to make a big deal of it. And he's like, oh man, I like now. Now I don't know what to do. I had this whole big segment about this, and then I felt like, oh, so I guess maybe I will talk about it a little more then. And that was my decision, not not his or anything like that. That was my decision. I shouldn't have made that decision. In the long run, I should have probably just been like, yeah, fuck it. But either way, the uh, the number of phone calls that I had gotten the day before is the reason why I decided, ah, fuck it, we're going to go into this, because it seemed like a lot, and it was. And, um, yeah. As far as I know, everything's all well and dandy. 
and I wish nothing but the best for that lady. I'm really sad it didn't work out, but it, like I said, long distance relationship with the two of us, I don't think would work. So there's just there's too much of a communication barrier. Nobody's fault. Does the bong rip happen when you hit fifty dollars? Actually, the bong rips start happening when the hype train starts in two minutes. Um, if the goal's knocked out for the day, then I'll, uh, I'll, um, I'll do a bong rip. Well, I mean, if the goal's knocked out for the day, I'll do a bong. You know what? Actually, uh, time to stand up to the toe. He trashed your girl and you just took it, bro. Says RP. One, she was no longer my girl. Two, he didn't trash her. He said she had crazy eyes and I disputed that. And three... As far as defending her on the crazy eyes thing, with how the end of everything went, I don't have a lot of ground to stand on. I don't view him as trashing my girl, but all right, RP. Um, if he had talked about it today and I didn't want to, then that would be a different thing. But I, uh, he, uh, he literally apolog he literally pointed out and apologized on air that he that he talked about it and I didn't want him to and he shouldn't have and I'm sorry. Like, yeah, he actually, now that I remind myself of it, I don't know what I was expecting before. He actually apologized on air. All right, so that hype train passed us by. Oh, well, too bad, so sad. Thank you, Saint RN, for the one, two, three, four, five bits. We appreciate every little bit of help we get. Show us a picture of her eyes. Will decides as nobody likes onions. Well, nobody likes, oh, nobody likes onition, onition? Uh, no, I li I'm not going to show you any pictures. Aaron should be giving, Aaron should be the last person giving relationship advice. Well, he never actually gave me any advice. If we're fair, he only gave critiques of the person. He never really gave me any advice. Aaron was never a yay or nay, go, no, go on the whole thing. Aaron was, Aaron was always just, you know, quick to throw his shit up. Do a bong rip for me, John. He says, TV's Will Heron. Johnny, he told you she was, uh, he told you she was what we saw, red flags, says King Kong Dong. Yeah, and I, again, I don't agree with that. Uh, Sneed after Coke says, Aaron says sorry and doesn't mean it like a repeat harasser of a woman gets exposed, says sorry, harasses again and again. Well, if that's true, there is a certain extent on the harassee to choose to get out. So at what point is it on me to do something? I mean, if this is his action and he's going to continue to do it, then what, what point is it my fault? You know what I mean? Thanks for the, thanks for the concern. Um, and I have no idea. I felt like he was as sincere as, as he could be. It's on you now, right now. Guess what? What? I got a fever. Hit the like button. And be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fuck you, Doom. Goodbye. I'll do it like that show. Goodbye. Good game, yeah. Shut up, Doom. And don't you dare clip this, you son of a bitch. I'd be careful about that Doom guy. Doom's a weirdo. By the way, if you listen to anything that Doom guy says, you're probably listening to a mentally retarded person. Doom, you're gone again. That's it. I'm so sick of you anyway.